coronavirus is forcing worldwide cancellations in sports and it poses a serious threat now to the 2020 Olympics. But many athletes like High Point pole vaulting coach Scott Houston still have their sights set on Japan this summer. Lauren Walsh has the story now from HPU. No large gatherings means no sporting events. Thanks to the coronavirus, the sports world has gone dark. But here at High Point, the future is bright. Pole vaulting coach Scott Houston continues to coach his team through this difficult time, all the while taking on a vigorous training regimen of his own as he prepares to try and make the U.S. pole vaulting team for the 2020 Olympic Games. It's one of those things where it's a dream. It's not the only dream that I have as far as pole vaulting, but it is one of the biggest dreams. And I set myself up well in 2016. It didn't happen. That's because of an unfortunate injury. In 2016, Houston made the Olympic trials final and then rolled his ankle. He had to sit and watch the trials final from the sideline. This time around, he's coming off a torn muscle injury. And to be in a similar situation right now where I might miss the opportunity, um, or to not be at my full potential is it's a little tough, but ultimately we just get to enjoy life and, and take life as it comes in strides. And, and, you know, I don't regret anything. I'm not going to be bitter about anything. To make the 2020 Olympic Games, Houston will have to overcome injuries and the effects of a global pandemic, especially with fewer Olympic qualifying opportunities. With the with the new situation that we have, the limited number of competitions is going to make it much more challenging, especially for athletes who haven't hit the standard or uh, or are looking to get the world ranking up now that there's no competitions basically scheduled between now and the Olympic trials. For now, Houston plans on training and preparing as if the games are going to happen this summer, as he and many other athletes hope they do. Reporting in High Point, Lauren Walsh, WXII 12 News.